fail about that uh Dwight playing for Brooklyn thing. Uh, it's it's not happening anymore. <laughs> It's been reported by Shams that Dwight will be pursuing a buyout with the Brooklyn Nets and what this basically means is the Brooklyn Nets are going to pay him a certain amount of money to not play for them and this also allows him to enter free agency. The unfortunate thing is that this would be interesting if he was able to affect some sort of change but the problem is is that his play style isn't really conducive to the type of success that NBA teams are trying to get. Fortunately, since he's so enamored with the idea of being a post-up big in a league that requires bigs to be more pick and roll centric, it doesn't really give him any leeway in his free agency. So it'll be interesting to see what team is willing to pick him up, but hopefully that team is able to reshape him into being a more pick and roll centric big man. It's been well documented that he has a lot of locker room issues. At first it was him clashing with Kobe, then it was James Harden, and then it was Dennis Schroeder on the Atlanta Hawks team. And then eventually he's been traded from Charlotte. They haven't been reporting anything out of Charlotte as far as teammates and their view of him, but that team that signs him is kind of aware of what they're getting into. So hopefully they have the right personalities to handle that type of player. If we live in a universe where Dwight signs with a team and becomes more open to doing pick and rolls a lot more, then we get a little more interested because he could go to Milwaukee. They've been looking for a center forever. I don't know how the money would work, but Milwaukee. Golden State Warriors is the nuke button option because just imagining having Dwight on the Warriors with KD, Steph, Clay, just Oh, that gives me headaches. I'm not really sure what other teams Dwight could sign with in the face of him wanting to be on a winning team and someone that would most likely be a contender. It's kind of hard to see what other teams that are in a winning situation need a center of his caliber. I suppose the Celtics would be another team that could potentially get Dwight and that would just bolster their rebounding and defense. Brad Stevens could be a coach that could rein Dwight into a pick and roll type of, you know, system. So maybe the Celtics too. I was going to say maybe the Cavaliers, but until we find out where LeBron goes, we're not really going to know where Dwight goes because LeBron is the biggest domino. So I couldn't say the Cavs until I know where LeBron is definitively going to go. It's a little bit difficult to really gauge where he'll end up. It says... Time to pack your bags. Pack your bags. Just 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 pack your bags. We're not really going anywhere. Just just pack your bags. Just literally just pack your bags.